Hey K-popers and welcome back to How You. Did you know SM Entertainment had a YouTube channel before their current one? Well, I've gone back and looked over the 117 videos that were uploaded there to share some hidden gems with you guys and explore just how different and how much less produced the K-pop world was back then. Some quick facts about this old channel. It was called SM Ent and was created on August 23rd, 2006. Believe it or not, it still has 1.8 million subscribers, including me, cause well, you never know. And the last video was uploaded on June 28th, 2011, which coincidentally was Sohyun's birthday. Before we get started, a quick thank you to Hallyu's honorary producers. Hallyu's patrons get to show off their bias group right here in every video, they get to have their say in future videos and projects on the channel, and they get access to the official Hallyu Discord server where they can chat about K-pop and even listen to it together. So if you want to leave your mark on Hallyu and be a part of our growing community, come join us over on Patreon. Now I'm sure you're as intrigued as I was to discover some of these hidden gems, so let's get right to it. For our first video, where better to begin than with the very first video ever uploaded to the SMN channel. This is a video spot which is meant to be a teaser of sorts for a new song called Feeling Only You by The Blue, which featured Girls' Generation members Tiffany and Soo Young. There's some nice behind the scenes shots here, but the big takeaway for me is that video editing. Wow is it a relic from the past, it looks like somebody made this on Windows Movie Maker. K-pop was totally different in 2009 than it is now, and it was okay if not encouraged back then to be weird sometimes, even in official releases. Exhibit A, this Super Junior subunit called Super Junior Happy, who released the song Cooking? Cooking. It's just absurd. <laughs> Up next, let's take a look at this video documenting FX leading up to their debut with La Chata. There's a lot of footage of training, practices, and meetings from their pre-debut days, and what stands out to me is just how candid and unfiltered this is. You would never see a group publicly release raw footage like this nowadays, and I think this is something we've lost over the years that really helped fans see their idols as people with personalities. <laughs> Before Girls Generation debuted the Taetiso subunit, there was Jetiso, consisting of course of Jessica, Tiffany, and Sohyun. This MV for the song Love Hate clearly shows its age in terms of CGI and video quality, but the vocals are still incredible. <laughs> Next, let's check out this video footage from Super Junior M's surprise birthday party for Henry. The members repeat the lyrics from Girls' Generation's song Genie to get Henry to make a wish, and then, well, I'll let you guys see for yourself. We've got one of my favorite CFs of all time up next, which is the Super Junior and Girls' Generation collaboration, Soul. This is a beautiful MV commissioned by Soul Tourism, and it features iconic landmarks like Gwangho Men Square and Banpo Bridge. And just look at the adorable romance between Kyuhyun and Sohyun, what's not to like here? Have you ever felt embarrassed about a speech or a presentation where you stumbled over your words? Well, you're not alone, as Tiffany, who is a native English speaker by the way, struggles to get through her opening line in this 2009 SM Global Audition video for the United States and Canada. Hey everyone, we'd like, we are here to tell you that it's that time of season of the year where the SM Entertainment Global Auditions will be held all across America and Canada, and we hope to see you there! I've combined these next two videos, which are recorded by Shinee's Jonghyun as he plays with his pet dog, Roo. It goes without saying how cute this is, but what's wild to me is that this was actually uploaded to SM's official YouTube channel. No. <laughs> the last set of videos we're going to check out are the two trailers for Girls' Generation's first Japanese album. I have absolutely no clue how this got approved by everyone involved at SM. It is a monstrosity. So, how did you enjoy our tour of SM's old YouTube channel? Do you prefer the more candid and less produced videos? I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, so share them down in the comments. 
As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you need more K-pop content in your life, be sure to subscribe to Hallyu.